All right, welcome back for gesture sketching this time. Uh, for gesture sketching, I'm going to write it down first on some manila paper for us. So today, a couple quick uh, materials that we need to discuss is we've got our regular pencil, a bit of charcoal that I've gotten, um, burned up some logs, just took out the carbon bits, the charcoal bits, and then we're going to draw with that. And then some additional Kante crowns. The Kante crowns you can get at any art supply store, Michael's Hobby Lobby, um, those are the ones down here. Um, these are great. I like them a lot. However, it's not a necessity, but it does make drawing a whole lot easier. All right, so for today, on your paper, title it. Gesture gesture drawing. For gesture drawing, what we're doing is we're quickly doing a fast illustration of a figure in front of us. Now, for us today, we have Kung Fu Steve. Uh, the, this is our model Kung Fu Steve. And the reason we're using models is because I have nobody in here to be my model. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Kung Fu Steve and reposition his arms and legs into a quick pose, quickly sketch him out, and move on to the next pose. Uh, in addition, we're also going to discuss contour lines, and I brought Thing in for contour lines. Now, for uh, contour lines, again, you're doing the outside design of the object. You're doing the outline of that object, and then illustrating that onto your paper so that you can see just the structure, the line structure of your overall object. Value, added details after that, that's next. That's not now. Right now, it's all contour lines. It's getting the basic structure of shape down. All right, so... Let's talk about Kung Fu Steve for a second. For Kung Fu Steve, the big thing about Kung Fu Steve is he is a nice, proper rep, rep, uh, human representation. The thing about Kung Fu Steve that I've got to harp on is the way that he is positioned, he can, he's going to emulate what happens with a normal figure if they're not put in the correct position. Um, so for this one, we have proper balance being illustrated because one arm is being extended out to be a counterbalance to his head and body weight that's being shifted to one side. However, if we shift all that body weight to one side or the other on our little stand, he sometimes won't hold his own weight. Right now, more weight distributed, balance on the other side. But if we change the balance on how the items are, he can sometimes get put off balance and be shifted. So right now it's really wobbly because we have no counterbalance, no weight on this side, to the weight on the other side, so easily he can tip and fall over. That's one of the biggest illustrations of balance that I can show you, for especially for a human figure representation. Let's twist him back over so it's not like he's discombobulated. All right, so do a simple pose, kind of like a running figure. Now, for when we did Kung Fu Steve initially, we drew the head, neck, upper torso to pelvic area, hips, or thighs to knees to shins, ankles, feet, all done in the oval and circle illustration. Same thing as Kung Fu Steve is built. Now the big thing is that you need to know is the ovals never move. Those are the chunks. The round parts are the connecting pieces. Those can move, operate just as any normal figure would. So however you want to do your pose, you can do your pose to make him cr do the creation that you want him to do. All right, so let's do a quick run, turn his face around. He does have a little notch piece cut up for his face. And set him to the side. Now, for the gesture drawing, let's flip to a new page. Grabbed a couple bits of text just to show you. For gesture drawing, you're doing just an outside quick, rough sketch of the shape. We're not going for specific details. We just want to see what the person is doing and then transferring it to your image with just a few lines. The fewer lines, the better, even, uh, because these are time. These are going to be fast. I'm going to do mine as quickly as I possibly can. Um, I might cut the video to shorten it, but we're going to try and limit these to 20, 30, uh, one-minute segments at all, uh, period. All right, so I'll use a Conte crown this time. Let's use this dark brown, nice chocolate color. All right, set my watch. Burn me so I can mark the time. All 
All right. Now, for these sessions, we're going to go ahead and divide up our paper into 20 blocks. So we're going to do a 4 by 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, which gives me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sections. Three lines down. 1, 2, 3, which then we have 1, 2, 3, 4 across. 4 by 5, 20 blocks. There's my numbers. All right, so starting in one block, let's do this. We've got an extra book here as well. All right, I'm going to start here and we'll work our way across just for, for illustration purposes. There, that was about 10 seconds. I want to try and make these as fast as possible. All right, change pose. This time we'll have more ballet. Okay, fast representation. I see what my character is doing on the page. Now we might break these down. You might have to do smaller blocks, bigger blocks, whatever is more comfortable for you. However, we are going to do a number of them for illustration. Okay, so that we can get our movements down as, as fast as we possibly can, so that we can get through and structure and know how structure is done better. All right, let's switch to the red. I like the red. The red's a really nice color. All right. Uh, Let's switch it over to the hand. Now for this one, I'm going to turn the hand so I'm looking at it slightly off center, not flat in front of me. I've rotated it around so that I can see different faces, different facets of the overall image. That way I have, uh, I can work off of that structure in multiple ways. The big thing is we don't want to keep drawing flat things. We want to turn them into a 3D object. All right, so for the hand, gesture sketch of the hand, pull down my first finger. Now, notice how these lines that I'm drawing, I'm only drawing a line for the finger. I'm not drawing the rounded stick of a finger. I'm just drawing a line so that afterwards I can come back and I can then add to that. To where we have our hand. Now, these are speed things. The faster you can go, the quicker, the better you are. If it takes you long, a long time to do some simple stuff, we got to talk because this is where we start making and breaking real artisans from, well, let's just be honest, hacks. So, come in, darken up some sections. So we have our hand illustrated as I'm looking at it for you guys, just slightly turned from that face so that I can see just the side angles. Let's move on to the next one. All right. Then we start moving into faces and whatnot. Now faces is going to be something new. Again, we're just looking at the overall line of a figure, of, a, of uh, whoever's going to be our model for that session. Uh, the big thing that you want to do is you always want to try and get that center profile line, which is going down from the center of the forehead, over the nose, over the middle of the lips, because then you can branch it out in a way. It makes it easy. All right. For this, I'm not having a model, but I've done enough faces to have a clear gauge as to how a face usually looks. So we have our center postmark. Now from this, we can have our eyes come off. Ear. This would be jaw structure, have our lines come in for the mouth. Might be able to do a bit of the nose. Let's be honest, I, women are easier for me to draw.
Now, does it look like I spent a lot of time on this? No, it shouldn't look like I spent a long time on this. It should look like I did it very fast, but I know what it looks like. It's a face. That's all we need to know. We need to know that it's a face. We need to see some structure. Again, these are time fast. I want to try and get you through these things as quick as possible. Charcoal, as soon as we get around to it, we're going to be working with this as well. Now, the only issue with this in the uh, Condocrans, I don't know if you can tell, uh, it does get messy on your fingers, so just keep that in mind. It's dust. That's all it is. Just rinse your hands off. You're fine to go. Um, now, let's move on to uh, back to our basic shapes, our objects that we've been working with, some uh, clear cups and some paint cans. Uh, again, for the contour lines, let's just, I'm just going to leave these stacked up in front of me. We're doing these quick, quick contour drafts, illustrations, just to go through the process, just to work up your drawing skills, get them better, more refined, and faster. That is key. Fast, fast, fast. The faster you can go, the more money you make. Forget that. You are out of the game and you lose. All right? So, uh, let's turn on the sideways. So, I'll work on this. So, first things first. So, uh, now, gesture sketch. I'm going to want to get these things close. So, if... Normally, you're sitting in class, and it takes you a good, oh, I don't know, 40 minutes to draw something like this. You are out of luck. You are not getting paid and wasting everybody's time. So, I'm quickly looking from picture to paper. Trying to get these images down. Now, number one ish thing that I've got to harp on from me to you. I've done this for years. A long time. Are you going to be perfect every time, all the time? No. And I wouldn't expect that. But I would expect to see that you're getting progressively better. Because the more you practice, I'm going to see you getting better. And if I don't see you getting better, it's because you didn't practice and you crapped out. If you crap out, you're low on the totem pole. All right. Listen to Mr. G. He'll, t he'll tell you the rest of the instructions. Be my guest. Go ahead and fill the room in on the rest. Later.